Bro, okay, well, the Nintendo Direct just ended, and holy crap, uh, I, I honestly really liked it. We're going to go over all my thoughts on a lot of the stuff. I'm going to recap, in my opinion, what was some of the best announcements out of today's Nintendo Direct. So let's get started. They opened the Direct up with Smash Bros, and... You can know how I feel about Xenoblade, so you should know that I was very, 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 very excited for the fact that we're getting yet another Xenoblade character in Super Smash Bros. I know a lot of people are probably disappointed by that, but guess what? I don't give a crap what people think. You, we got so many Fire Emblem characters, it's about time that we have another Xenoblade character. The series has been not represented as much as it should be and it is such a good game so all these people are hating on it they haven't even played a xenoblade game in their life so it's just whatever i don't care what they think i'm very happy with the reveal of pyra slash mithra i'm still trying to think about how that's going to work i've only seen the trailer once so i need to rewatch it but that was really cool then immediately right after that we had fall guys <laughs> fall guys was something that Look, I'm going to be honest, I don't really think Fall Guys is great, I'm not a fan of it, I, I personally think it's kind of slowly dying, and I think what was even worse of a move on the team over there at Fall Guys Developer Digital, this game isn't going to come out for the Switch till summer. Uh, it was announced that it's coming to the Switch, and it's coming this summer, and I don't know how I feel about it, because it looks like they're not adding any Nintendo content into it either, and that's... It's fine without Nintendo content. My whole point is, this game should have been on cons more consoles already. Among Us got on Switch very fast. I it just, I don't know. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how that game is going to run on the Switch. It's going to be interesting to see how the game will be the community during the summer. So then we got another Monster Hunter Rise trailer, which that game is really looking awesome. I am very excited to be picking that game up. And then on the side of that, they announced that the Monster Hunter Switch is coming to America and the Monster Hunter Pro Controller. That is really exciting. Unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to pass on the Pro Controller. But it's good to see that that is coming to America since it was literally coming to every other place <laughs> except America. I just hate it was announced so late since... I mean, not so late, but the game comes out in a month. Saving an extra eighty dollars—that's gonna get. That's really hard to make in a month for me, at least. So, unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to pick up the controller if it was announced beforehand. I, I would have been able to pick it up, you know. But it is what it is. Then we had a brand new Mario Golf game, and if you did not watch our predictions, or if you haven't been watching any of our other predictions, I've been talking about this Mario Golf game. It's finally happening. It's coming out June 25th, and it looks pretty exciting. I've never played a Mario Golf game. This is definitely going to be my first, and it's called Speed... I don't remember the name of the Mario Golf game now, but what I thought that was very interesting about it is it's getting the Mario Tennis uh, treatment, Aces treatment, where they had a story mode in the Mario Golf, and what surprised me the most is that your me is the playable character of the story mode. We have not seen Miis really been used that much because I guess Nintendo's trying to forget it since it was kind of in the Wii era. So to see the Miis making a comeback, like they've been in Smash Brothers and you can make them as an icon, nothing really else you can do with me. So to see this, very exciting. Another Nintendo the game that was announced that I don't think anyone expected, I was kind of surprised, I don't think people really care either, but that was Miitopia. And I think this is interesting because this was one of the last 3DS games that came out for the system. It makes me wonder, are we going to see more 3DS ports coming to the Switch? Because this was interesting. I honestly don't know much about the Miitopia, but we were just talking about Miis making a comeback. This is very interesting. Seeing this game is making me hope that we can get Tomodachi Life onto the Switch. I've always wanted to play that game. I watched so many videos of that game as a kid. So it'd be cool to finally be able to play that game. So I would like to see that on the Switch. And I don't know what the price is of Miitopia, but I hope they're not charging a full $60 since when it came out on the 3DS, it was a $40 game. But I still think this is interesting if we're going to see more 3DS ports coming to the Switch from Nintendo. I don't know. I think it's very interesting. Then we saw Ninja Gaiden, which if you watched our predictions, we were thinking 
Ninja Gaiden was, Ryu was gonna be a Smash Bros. character, and I still do stand by that. I believe Ryu is gonna be playable in Smash Bros. at some point. It happened. The games are coming to the Switch. The, uh, not the originals, but the, the newer ones they made, and the whole trilogy's coming. I'm really excited for that because I want to play more of these games. I played the NES one, I've never finished it, I'm going to finish it, but I'm interested in these characters and I'm looking forward to playing these games. It's coming out in June and I'm definitely going to pick up this H, it's not really an HD collection, but it's all the games coming to Switch, so I'm looking forward to picking it up. Then we had No More Heroes 3, which I was very surprised that the release date was shown off. It was confirmed to be coming to August 28th, I think is what they said. August 28th, that game was supposed to be a late 2020 game, and then when they delayed it, it's like, oh yeah, early 2021. Hey, it's all good. I am all for delays. I mean, we don't want another Cyberpunk to come out. I'm just surprised to see such a gigantic delay like that since they originally said early 2021, and we're almost at the, the third quarter of 2021 in August. So it's just... Very interesting to see that. We got the brand new Octopath Traveler spiritual successor that was called Triangle Strategy, and that's coming out in 2022. And judging from the gameplay, it looks beautiful. A demo just came out for the game on the eShop. If you have the eShop, I mean, if, you're, if you have a Switch, then you know, yeah. But it looks exciting, and it's coming out next year, which this direct was supposed to be very focused on the first half. Either way, banger game, and I need to finish Octopath Traveler. So then they showed off High Rewards Age of Calamity. Me and Itachi were like, oh my gosh. And funny enough, Itachi just finished his playthrough, so I was making a joke that, oh, looks like you gotta play it again now. Because he, he literally just finished his walkthrough on the streams, which by the way, if you watched our reactions, that was the guy that we were, had on our reactions. That was him. Go check him out. Anyways, there's a brand new expansion pass coming out. Well, there's only one, but brand new DLC coming for High Rewards Age of Calamity. I uh, didn't look at the trailer again, but it looks like it's just going to be just characters. It's not going to be brand new story expansion. It's just all new characters, all that stuff, new challenges. Just kind of how they did the DLC before in High Rewards. Me personally, I'm not interested in picking that up if it's just characters. If it was a story expansion, then I probably would have my interest in the game if that was the case. But unfortunately, it's just characters. Then immediately right after that, they showed the producer of the Zelda series. And I was like, oh my gosh, Breath of the Wild 2, it's happening. Ah, oh, Breath of the Wild 2. And there's like, no, no Breath of the Wild 2 news. But they're saying that they think they'll be able to show off more Breath of the Wild 2 news later this year. I originally thought Breath of the Wild 2 would have been a this year title, but judging from that statement, I believe we are not getting Breath of the Wild 2 this year. But what they did show off in return, they showed Skyward Sword HD, which I'm very excited for that. I'm a new Zelda fan, I'm trying to play all the mainline games, and that was one of the mainline games I was missing out of the series that I needed to play. So now that that's coming to the Switch, it is supposedly HD. It's kind of like Twilight Princess HD where they didn't really try with that. It, it looks like it's a similar thing with Skyward Sword HD. I'm pumped. They're releasing exclusive Joy-Cons for the game. Uh, you can actually pick these up without having to buy a brand new console, which that's very exciting for me. There's been so many of these Joy-Cons that I wanted to buy, but you had to buy a brand new console. I'm like. Yo, come on now. No one wants to buy $350 of consoles to, to get the Smash Bros. Smash Bros. Joy-Cons or Animal Crossing. I'm really happy to have these Skyward Sword Joy-Cons. These look so freaking beautiful. Uh, all this is coming out July. And yeah, I, I gotta be honest. I was kind of surprised to see that we got some Zelda news. Other than, like, I was ex predicting Breath of the Wild too. But I thought Skyward Sword HD... And I believe a Zelda collection is happening. I thought that would have been coming out later in the year as like a Zelda Direct. So to see that, I was very pleased. Then immediately right after that, they show off Splatoon 3. 
I was very surprised that we're getting a Splatoon 3, to be honest with you. I thought we would have got a spin-off title, because uh, there's been talks that a spin-off title would be happening. And here we are, we got Splatoon 3. I'm just like, this game is blowing me away. I'm going to be honest, I, my friends are going to hate me for saying this, but this looks like a very good original game. With how you can spawn in the game, that shows me enough that this game is changing. The maps, you open up in literally a desert of the game. You have this little buddy feature, which we still don't know what that is. And this game is coming out in 2022. They haven't shown enough, of enough gameplay, I realize that. But I feel like they've shown enough that this is definitely a sequel. This is something that's going to be very interesting, worth the $60. We need to see what's going to happen with it. There needs to be more news. But I'm going to say this looks like a brand new sequel. This doesn't look like a port or anything. My friends are calling it a port and looks like they changed nothing. I'm going to disagree with that. This looks like it's going to be something very special. Especially with how they've done the trailer. I believe this is going to be a really good game. And it's not going to be what they call a port. So that was all of, in my opinion, the awesome announcements that were shown off. Overall, I thought this was a very special direct. I thought it was good. They definitely, definitely put a lot of filler in there. But it makes me wonder if we had a lot of third-party showcases planned within last year and the beginning of this year. And they just put all of that together into making a mega direct. Again, I agree. A lot of filler. It definitely could have had a lot of that cut. Like, DC Supergirls. But... <laughs> I, I don't know, but I enjoyed the direct. I'm happy directs are back. I want to know what you guys are thinking Because I mean I liked it. I definitely feel like they should have cut a lot of stuff out lower the time But I think it's good to know that directs are still happening since a lot of us were worried that directs might actually not be happening there seemed to be that possibility with the fact that all these companies are doing their own thing, Pokemon Presents, all of this stuff. I think it's great to see that we're back with these, and I look forward to the next Nintendo Direct. I would give this Nintendo Direct a 6 or a 7 out of 10. That's how I feel, because I feel like there was enough to justify a lot of this content that we got. I mean, we got new Octopath, we got Mario Tennis, we got Mario Golf, we got Smash Brothers. Zelda, we got Splatoon 3, and then I think Ninja Gaiden was a big announcement. In terms of the other third-party stuff, Outer Wilds was a big deal. Uh, Fall Guys, I mean, I, I think it was a solid direct, and uh, I'm looking forward to the next direct. That's how I feel. I want to know how you guys feel. I've been talking for way too much. Make sure to check out my Twitter. Check out my Discord server. Backslash that subscribe button. And once again, let me know how you feel. I want to know how everyone's feeling because I've only seen my friend's opinion. I want to know, is everyone else feeling the same like my friends? Like this direct was trash, all that. My friends hated this direct. I'm like the only one out of the group that loved it. But anyways, guys, talking way too much. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.